Hi St Luke's and welcome to Church News. Thank you for partnering with us in Gospel Growth this week, either by giving online or in cash. You can keep giving by using the bank details on our church's website or using the cash box in the foyer. And as you give, trust this promise from 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 10 to 11, which says, He who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will supply and multiply your seed for sowing and increase the harvest of your righteousness. You will be enriched in every way to be generous in every way, which through us will produce thanksgiving to God. Today we're drinking coffee and milkshakes for our mission partnership with NCNC. New Churches for New Communities works to plant new Anglican churches in the Greenfield suburbs of Sydney. At our most recent session of Synod, we approved financial support for NCNC for another 10 years. And we also spent a day touring some of the Greenfield sites. Here's what happened that day. Today we have 300 people from Synod, Synod members here in Oran Park, doing tours of Oran Park itself, and also doing bus tours from Oran Park all the way up to the second airport at Badgerys Creek, and then coming all the way back down. And what we're doing is showing them the growth areas in the Southwest. My name's Stuart Starr, I'm the lead pastor at New Life, where you've just departed. There won't be another Anglican church until we get to almost Penrith. It's Glenmore Park before we come to another Anglican church along this way. Between Oran Park and the second airport, in that broad area, there'll be 300,000 people uh, moving in. 28,000 people are going to work at the airport. Uh, another 300,000 people in Bradfield in the next 15 years. And so on the buses, people have just been saying, we have to do something about this. These communities must not be without the gospel. From the people I've chatted with, there's not a lot of people who've necessarily explored this area before. So it's just been really exciting for them to do the double take and say, ah, oh, this is the growth that you're talking about. And oh, look, there's not many churches here, are there? We have two churches for 300,000 people. So we need to be putting in more churches to serve the work of the gospel in these areas where hundreds of thousands of people are moving in. Barara is a very different place to, uh, to, to hear because you know, Barara has been settled for, for a long, long time. It's quite incredible to see all the green space that is empty and going to be filled. You know, looking at the master plans and thinking about how many houses and how many people are going to be there, it's incredible. What struck me the most was how planned everything is and how much is planned for the future. If you look in the next 34 years, pretty much we need to build <laughs> one church per year. So that's his uh, huge task. <laughs> yeah. The Synod having made this decision, uh, there are a number of things that you can do uh, as a member of your local uh, of your local church. Firstly, uh, do be informed about it. There's the Anglican Church Growth Corporation is involved in this kind of work. New Churches for New Communities are our fundraising arm and we absolutely love the donations of parishes and individuals and organisations to help the funding gap. Please be prayerful. We need workers. We need to raise up people to train in colleges and come out to these areas as church planters and evangelists. And we need people who will be church members. And I think having the conversation in your own church, because many of these churches here at Oran Park, they've been assisted by uh, Northwest, for example, for a long time. Let's be prayerful. Let's be open to God's leading. Let's be creative and courageous uh, and collaborative uh, as a diocesan fellowship. Uh, as people seeking to serve the Lord Jesus in the whole of our diocese. We're supporting Operation Christmas Child again this year. We'll give you more information about this campaign over the next few weeks, but you can find out more information in the foyer or at the Samaritan's Purse website. Finally, the Hub has finished up for Term 3. Our children and young people will gather together again on Sunday 15th of October. We're so glad you could join us today. And don't forget the good news St Luke's, that Jesus is the loving King and Saviour of all peoples. For the battle over death is won.